Hamilton Back Clinic, a little ways from Vancouver Island. <laughs> He's a chiropractor who also specializes in acupuncture and gives lectures and seminars in North America, including IMAI, the International Medical Arts Institute, where I also teach. And besides his prolific medical work, he has the most eye-catching clothes, Alexander McQueen ties with skulls on them, more than 50 ascot ties, and more. He says that his retro rocker look puts patients at ease to help reduce anxiety. How cool is that? And at the Hamilton Back Clinic. Well, I'm thrilled to have Dr. Anthony Lombardi on my program today to discuss some of his work. Dr. Lombardi, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a chiropractor who practices uh, acupuncture and electroacupuncture, and it takes up uh, over 90% of my practice, and I treat specifically musculoskeletal injuries. That's awesome, and I know that uh, the students at the International Medical Arts Institute, I'm affiliated to that school as well, they just loved what you were teaching, motor points. That's right. So motor points is a junction in the muscle where the motor nerve attaches to the muscle that moves. So for example, if we had a deltoid, the axillary nerve innervates the deltoid. The motor point is a specific point found in that muscle that when you insert an acupuncture needle and stimulate it, you get involuntary contraction. And these exist all over the body and play a great role in improving strength, decreasing pain and increasing range of movement in the injured muscle. So this is different motor points as opposed to dry needling or like Chinese medicine, the meridian theory. That's correct. Although sometimes the motor points may coincide with the trigger points that you talk about or traditional acupuncture points, they are essentially by themselves. Trigger points are usually tight muscles which form due to overcompensation and of course the acupuncture points are traditionally found along their respective meridians. These motor points are specifically where the nerve attaches to the muscle, the motor nerve that attaches to the muscle. In the belly of the muscle, right? Yes, and they're always found in the belly of the muscle, that is correct. And so you've written a book about this, right? Yes, so I have a book called Motor Point Acupuncture for TCM Practitioners. And it is now in hard copy. It's also a digital ebook, and in it covers the location, how to find, and how to implement over 92 motor points. And so, for our listeners, what kind of conditions would you work on with motor points? So, any type of musculoskeletal condition. So, we're talking muscle strains, frozen shoulder, low back pain, sciatica, neck pain, things of that nature. So, strains, sprains, pain, inflammation. And how does this differ from, let, let's say, dry needling? So, it differs from dry needling and other forms of acupuncture because it's very functional. The purpose is to insert the needle in order to elicit movement in the muscle because that automatically improves the range of movement and strength of that segment. So, this is more focused then? Yes, it's much more focused than any type of the traditional insertions for musculoskeletal pain. That's awesome. So wonderful to have you here. So, can you give us some contact details? All of my products, my webinars, the manual that we spoke about is found at www.dranthonylombardi.com. And also your workshops in the States, because we have people listening from all over the world, online streaming. Yes, so I, at that site that I just said, www.dranthonylombardi.com, if you go to continuing education, you'll find all of not only the webinars, but the live courses that are happening all over the U.S. Wonderful having you here, Dr. Lombardi. Looking forward to speaking with you again. Oh, thank you so much for this opportunity. And if this resonates,